What's going on guys, it's Nolan Rides, and today we're going to be building a terrain based RMC uh, aka a woody, top of track woody from Rocky Mountain Construction uh, I have never built a successful RMC woody I have built uh, I think one somewhat realistic RMC which is, isn't even the one on my channel in fact I, now when I look back at it, the one I, RMC I have on, well, uh, I have two RMCs. I have the T-Rex concept and then I have a normal RMC hybrid, both of which are shit, to be honest. Um, since then I've built one good uh, T-Rex, I've been uh, I've built one good hybrid, none of which you can see on my YouTube channel. And then I've built this, Woody. The first, like, Woody I've ever, like, been happy with, I think. Uh, I, I got, I'm, I'm pretty proud of those coasters. This is actually one of the best RMCs I've ever made. It's, it's really good. It took some, uh, some time to make. I, th I th spent a few hours doing this. Uh, it, it was a really uh, difficult coaster to make on some uh, points, uh, but I reckon it, it turned out pretty well. I'm starting out uh, very differently than uh, most. RMCs, like a lot of RMCs uh, start out with the uh, like a few bunny hills before the lift and I do as well except I also do like Gerslau would do sometimes it, and uh, I have an inversion uh, before the uh, the lift hill again uh, be, be, but instead of it being like a heartland rule like it always is I thought I was gonna go a little more RMC stylish I guess, and I made it a zero G stall instead, and it actually turned out pretty well. Like this is a really well made inversion. I, I gotta say, it's it's too fast the footage for you to see it probably, but it, it trust me it, when you see the POV, it's, it's a pretty good inversion. I reckon so. Um, it, it, I mean, and when it comes to building an RMC Woody, really there's not any difference between a hybrid and a Woody. It's usually just a hybrid to replace a normal like older wood wooden coasters not made by RMC and then their wooden coasters are like the completely original layouts uh, except for Zadra at Energylandia which is currently being built that is an original layout yet it's a hybrid I'm not really sure why um, I mean I, I don't know I mean when, when it comes to the woodies actually a lot of the woodies are terrain based that might be something to do with that it's like oh it's it's, it's not terrain based it can't be a woody uh, I, I don't know, uh, but I think the woodies are really cool. I really like the RMC woodies because unlike the hybrids, they they seem a bit more aggressive. In the, like just in the POVs, if you watch the uh, Outlaw Run POV that is on Theme Park Reviews uh, channel, that is a pretty cool POV because the camera and the the uh, train like shakes on the camera, so it looks like it's super rough. But I, I, of course, I don't know if it is, but it doesn't seem like it would be. Uh, like I haven't heard anything about Outlaw Run being rough, but the camera makes it look like that. And then the sounds, the sounds of the wheels uh, just gliding on, like under the rails and on the rail. You know what I mean? Especially the upstuck wheels, because in that specific P, we can you can hear in that specific P, we you can hear the upstuck wheels uh, touch the bottom of the rails on airtime mode. You can actually hear the airtime, which is pretty pretty cool. Uh, and it's, I mean, there's just something about the woodies. They they have like a charm to them, which is I just really like. Uh, this element I'm making right here. Was, this was one of the um, most difficult elements I, I made on this coaster because for some reason, uh, like I, I wanted the uh, airtime to be pretty good, but not too good. Like. Well, not too uh, not too strong because to begin with it was consistent negative two G's and I don't want my uh, riders heads to explode uh, so I had to make it much wider than I originally intended and at the same time I also had to make sure the lat the uh, the laterals of the outer bank uh, weren't there like I got, I gotta get as close to zero laterals as possible because I wanted to be an airtime moment. Uh, that's like doesn't give hang time or push you to the side uh, Back when you're looking at this drop by the way, this drop is a hundred percent inspired by the Joker I actually thought it was gonna be harder to make than it was because I look at the Joker and It's like oh, it's it's a very weird drop. It doesn't look properly engineered at the same time It looks g like a genius engineered it. We, I mean and let's be honest a genius did engineer it uh, 
we we all know that but it, it looks funny that's that's my point it looks kind of weird uh but it's actually not that hard to make and i really really like it the look of it uh the both the one in real life on the joker and the one i made it actually turned out really really well because uh, it's this, this weird drop where it, it turns slightly doesn't really bank much and it just goes down and then when it gets closer to the bottom it starts to really bank and turn and it turned out really well i'm very proud of that drop um and this is a very when it comes to the arm scenes in real life this one is really one of the most intense out there this is a really intense ride um it has crazy good airtime. it has very rapid transitions it has some lateral moments that aren't like in the form of transitions too and then it also has some pretty good positive forces i believe it hits uh, 4G's a few places. I don't know if it has 5G's. I haven't actually checked, but I noticed that it hit 4G's a few places, which which is pretty good. I would I would reckon it's pretty forceful. And uh, not that it lasts for too long. It's not like a gray out blackout coaster unless you're, you're kind of weak, I suppose. Uh, but it, it's it's a very intense coaster and. Every little bit like comes from an original arm scene in real life. Like what you're seeing right here is very much based on Steel Vengeance. It's I uh, Steel Vengeance has its uh, double up and then zero G roll, and then it also has a zero G stall going through the lift hill. And this is kind of a mix. This is the double up and then zero G roll, except that it's the part that also goes through the uh, the lift hill. And then we come to this wave turn. This is a very long wave turn. And I thought this was going to be too intense because it's very low to the ground. It's a very fast coaster. And it does go through the element very fast. So I thought, oh, it's going to, like the way I made the wave turn, it's going to have way too many lateral source airtime or something when it goes through it. Turns out it didn't. It had pretty much zero laterals and really, really good uh, consistent uh, ejector airtime that wasn't too strong. Uh, so that actually turned out really well. The same goes for this overbank right out of the COG roll. I thought, oh, that's, it's not really overbanked that much, so it, it's gonna have some laterals, and it doesn't. It's so weird. I, I don't know why. I, I, like, much of this coaster is just me getting really lucky with the elements, and not actually, in, like, unintentionally making a really, really good realistic elements. <laughs> Like, I, I made this coaster way better than I intended when I made the elements. I just got lucky with how well they ended up. And now we're gonna go into a giant rip-off portion, but I really wanted to have this because, uh, like I did with my Infinity Coaster, I drew this concept on my, uh, a piece of paper because I really didn't want to screw this one up. Uh, so I actually planned out most of the layout on paper already, and and... There's just something I really, really wanted, so I, I drew this in my plan, and we're about to make a quad down like on Lightning Rod at Dollywood. It's very, very similar to, except I, I do make it, uh, I do make a few changes. I actually think this might be more intense. I'm not exactly sure, uh, but it is pretty intense. Like this twisted hill, uh, hill. This twisted hill that you're seeing right here, it, it gives some pretty hard laterals because it turns and it doesn't bank that much. And then here you have kind of an outer bank um, airtime hill as the last uh, bunny hop. Uh, which So yeah, it is a pretty intense quad down. It gives... Uh, I'm not so sure about the positive forces. I think it does give some pretty good positive forces uh, between the hills. I'm not actually sure. I really did not notice. And then um, it does give some really, really good air time, some really strong laterals. And then uh, it goes under the station here. Uh, it's a very, very unique <laughs> coaster. This I'm very proud of it. And then it just turns. Doesn't even bank. We don't need no banking. That that's one I've always found really really fascinating about roller coasters. It's when they turn but they don't bank. It's, it's like they do it all for the laterals. It, it's, there's just something really cool about it. And the funny thing is here when I did it, it didn't even get a lot of, of laterals. Uh, but I found out after I've made uh, after I made the final portion with the quad down and everything, it it was actually a little too intense with some of the laterals. So I did end up putting a trim break, as you will see here shortly, uh, on the quad down. However, it, it, I like to start with it trimmed way too much, so it's super slow at the end. But uh, it's it doesn't trim very much. It just 
trims it a little bit, but really when you watch the POV and when you watch it off right, you don't notice it too much. It's only really at the end you, you notice it doesn't have as much speed going into the brakes. But regarding the ride experience itself, it's really, really good. Uh, still, I, I mean, it's... <laughs> It, uh, also, that's the thing about, I just want to mention, it's not actually a trim brake I put in, because here's another uh, stupid thing that Frontier has done. Uh, there, there are so many things, I've, I've mentioned so many stupid things that Frontier did with this game. I mean, they made a great game. Great game, Frontier, if you're watching this. You probably aren't, so I'm, I don't know why I'm talking to you, but great game. You just done goofed on a few things, and uh, one of them is the trim brakes. If you want to use a proper trim brake, guess how, I mean, it has to be 8 meters long. Trim brakes in real life are like half a meter or one meter long, not 8. Like B&M trim brakes and Hypercoaster, for example, are so small, like they're so short at, on um, on the airtime hills, but in, in, like in the game, first of all, it's not even the right brakes because in real life it's uh, pretty much always magnetic brakes and then really short and then in the game they're just really long friction brakes so uh, when I made this I did not use the trim brake I used a normal uh, brake because it's the same thing and it's just one little brake chilling on on the quad down uh, without ruining the airtime it still gets very good ejector airtime uh, so by now I have pretty much finished the layout I think I oh, like banged a few elements a little more after I stopped recording um, but that's about it like it's really not something you're gonna notice from this video and the official POV at all uh, unlike like it, actually that's something I've done quite a lot I, I on a lot of my projects I always change something after I done recording the building process I always think nah that should have been different and then I go in and change something completely like in my Infinity Coaster, I completely changed the first uh, inversion, which was the giant sea server roll. I completely changed that. I like I, I made almost an entirely new one, and the same with the element after it. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I do change a few things, but this one, on this one, I hardly changed any. And you can see I do make some of the terrain. Just know this isn't the final terrain. I really just uh, made it to, like match the... Um, match the rails themselves, the track itself, uh, and, uh, like just because I wanted, it, it, it is a terrain based coaster so I wanted the, the track to be very close to the ground at all times because I wanted it to be like up a, up a mountain, uh, a canyon mountain and so that's what I did, I just uh, did the terrain so it matches that but uh, when I I haven't decorated the place yet, I haven't made the station, a queue line, and so on. So I probably will end up doing some more terrain after this recording, uh, which I haven't gotten to yet. Also, um, as you can see, there are actually a few places where I had to remove the supports uh, when it goes over a few places. It looks pretty cool, it still looks like it could totally be doable in real life. I'm not sure though, I'm not an engineer. Uh, but I also had to remove his supports on the zero G stall right at the beginning, like before the lift hill, uh, because the zero G stall goes right under an airtime hill, and the supports of like the beams, the giant metal beams that are under the track, uh, the the stall's beams go right through the uh, the airtime hill track, and we we can't have that. Um, so that had to be done something with, but. Um, also, the supports like here, I really didn't make, make, want to make like a super tall, stupid looking building for the station, so I just put ground under the station, uh, and basically make it like a cave that the ending part of the coaster goes through. And here we have the quad down uh, getting changed. I still haven't been on an RMC in real life. Uh, I really, really want to go on an RMC. I mean, of course I do. I'm an enthusiast. Uh, so of course I want to go on, on an RMC, some of the best coasters in the world they make. They, they have not made a bad coaster. Uh, so, I mean, and I'm not too far away from one of them, which is Wildfire out at the uh, Colomborden. I'm not too far away from it. I think, like, I'm a few hours, like four hours, maybe four or five hours, I think. Uh, so not too bad. I uh, probably six hours, five, six, seven hours actually. Uh, but still, that's not too bad. I mean, I could, could drive there, to spend a day at Colomborden, and then drive. Ho 
like drive there one day then spend a day and then drive home again the next day uh but that's probably not gonna happen soon because money anyways that has been today's video i really hope you uh, do hope you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button tell me something in the comments i always love the comments anyways it's been northern rides and i hope you guys keep on writing